It could be mm. like like five to three hundred dollars, something like that, mm. and like that's clearly money I don't have. So, wow. so, so I, I would I, I could get a better price online for like at least one hundred dollars, two hundred. Then you would wait. I I would wait for it. Okay, so uh, let's say the Oakley's Rift came out right Ooh. now, right? Mm. And you could get it for two hundred dollars online, or you could go to Best Buy and get it for three hundred dollars now. Or you have to wait, you know, uh, like like five to ten days. You pay two hundred uh, plus shipping, 
and then you wait five to ten days to get it, you know, the whole place rest still you know, package. Or you could go to Best Buy right now for three hundred and get it. Which one would you do? I would wear the Best Buy. I mean, it's the Oculus Rift. <laughs> so you you would just because you want to get it now, right? Yeah. I I would I would still go online because when I was but it's only like five to four days four to five days. Yeah, four to five days away. But when 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 I was ordering ordering my Wii, it would took like a week yeah. to get it. And if it's only two hundred dollars and you're only waiting five to four days, I would still, I would, I you would still wait. Yeah, because I would have a chance to like tell my friends, oh, I'm getting the Oculus Rift, or why and, your friends are probably well, playing the uh-huh. Oculus Rift. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> if you're if you're like Beyonce, he's not gonna believe you. If, you, if you're gonna tell them that you're getting the Oculus Rift and right. then you're waiting five right. you're days, you're not gonna believe. That now, that's why you should get it right away, because then you, you have the proof. You have the proof right there. So, let's, uh, let, let's ask our newest member in the, in the back there, Deontay, what would you do? Do you want to get this thing now, or would you wait five, four to five days, like getting it on eBay? Would you, matter of fact, would you use the eBay same-day service if you had that opportunity to get um, something that you wanted today? Or would you just say, nah, I'll just do regular shipping and just get it five, ten days? I would rather get it today where I could actually use it because I wouldn't take that chance. Sometimes you might be able to get on the internet or it could be sold out. Yeah. Or, yeah. So you, you would get it same day. It, yeah. But it also could be sold out in stores. Most most of the time it's sold out in stores. Most of the time it's sold out in stores. So and then you're going to have to wait like another five days until the, another ship opens coming. Right. That's why you have That's to be the first in line. That's why you have to be the first in line. But not everyone gets first in line. Right. So the, the point is that a lot of people want stuff now, you know, I mean, and, and that's a part, of, a part of the culture. If something comes out, you don't want to wait if you have a choice. And so this eBay Now service that they have offered, the eBay Now definitely is what, um, is, is something that people are going to gravitate towards. That's just the bottom line. People are going to gravitate towards it because you can get the thing now, you don't have to wait. And definitely, I think eBay is going to, uh, they're going to benefit by having this service as a part of their repertoire. We just got to see how they deal with it and how the customers respond. If the price of the eBay Now service is too high, that's going to prevent people from doing it. I mean, if I could just jump in my car and get it, you know, nobody thinks that they're spending gas. Nobody thinks about all of that just to go to the store. But when I look online and I see the eBay service now is $50 extra you know, for, for now service, then I'm like, ah, you know, I, I don't know. But if they keep this price, uh, that $5, the $25 minimum free plus the $5 uh, um, uh, gratuity for delivery and all that type of stuff, if they do that and keep it there, definitely people will want the, um, definitely they're going to want to uh, use the, uh, the, the eBay now service. All right, now talk, speaking of something that people want, uh, the new Nexus 7 is something that has been hotly, hotly sought after by a lot of people for um, ever since Google announced that they were coming out with a new Nexus 7 this summer. Matter of fact, they said this month is when they were coming out with the new Nexus 7, but we hadn't heard anything more about it. You know, just a, a few rumors and stuff like that. Well, according to a report by The Verge, the new Nexus 7 is up for pre-order at Best Buy with, and it's coming with, Android 4.3, and at a starting price, you're going to want to, to, to hear about this. Now, let, let me just give you a little backstory before we get to that starting price. Now, as if that Best Buy Nexus flyer, remember we showed you a Best Buy uh, flyer yesterday about, uh, they leaked that image, it was supposed to come out, um, the flyer is coming out in this Sunday's paper, but um, the image was leaked online. And if that wasn't enough, the big retailer is stepping up its efforts to preempt Google's tablet announcement by posting its pre-order page for the device ahead of the official launch. Because normally, Google likes to announce that they are ready to ship a new product with the Nexus 7 or anything like that. They like to announce that they are um, doing these things. So, uh, but this time, Best Buy is, is trying to preempt them by coming out with their pre-orders, announcement of the pre-orders of the Nexus 7 before Google actually has the time to uh, announce it. The online store provides full resolution images of the newly upgraded Nexus 7 slate detailing the uh, addition of a camera 
and the now horizontal wood, uh, wood mark on the back. The latter implies that Google's second Nexus 7 is intended to be used in landscape mode more often than in portrait mode. Now, for those of you who don't know, landscape mode is when you turn your tablet to the side. Like, you know, like this. This would be considered, you have landscape mode here. This is portrait mode when you just have it, you know, up like that. So, Google is saying that more people are going to be wanting to use the camera and use landscape mode. At least that's what they're um, betting on by this, uh, um, ad, uh, by the way they uh, design and advertise this thing, that more people are going to be using um, the uh, um, Google Nexus 7 in landscape mode than in portrait mode, and uh, an effort to underline its credentials as a tablet rather than just an oversized phone. Now, the specs uh, for the, the Nexus 7 has previously been confirmed by two Best Buy pages, with the highlight being the 1920 by 1200 pixel resolution. Now that's higher than high definition because high definition would be 1920 by 1080. This thing is 1920 by 1200, which gives it that extra 200 pixels, or if you want to be um, exact, 120 extra pixels, which could make a, a bit of a difference in that horizontal world, the display resolution, <coughs> leading to a fine 323 pixels per square inch. So that's a lot of pixels per square inch. The Samsung Galaxy S4 has about 224 pixels per square inch, and that screen looks sweet. And so the Nexus 7 is going at 323 pixels per square inch density. It also is coming with two megabits, I mean two gigabytes of RAM. It has a 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro 806 processor with Adreno 320 graphics. So this thing is coming hyped right out of the box. And the rear camera resolution is at 5 megapixels and then and the 16 gigabyte uh, Nexus 7, that's the specs for all the Nexus 7. Now you have the 16 gigabyte version is going to cost you uh, $229.99 and the 32 gigabyte version is listed at $269.99. Now we're coming up on a break right now, but right after the break, we're going to continue talking about this. And also, Verizon is offering six months free of Google Music with this particular peripheral. You want to see that coming up right after the break, right here on the show that keeps you in touch with that technological world, Tech Pulse. We'll be right back.